One, two, one, two, party barn again every bit of the corn I poured in there was gone every bit of the corn that was laying down here on the ground was gone some of the tractor is still there you can see they've been trying to scuff it up but so this time I put some shredded beets and molasses in there filled up the trough and mixed a little bit of corn in there with it poured a little bit left here on the ground of course the molasses block is gone I knew it would be uh, we had 300 and something videos on that camera in five days, six days. So yeah, that we had a lot of action here. And at the one across the pine thicket over there, it's probably, I don't know, a good half a mile over that way, past that way. We had over 200 and something. So we're going to get to see what kind of action we had. And, uh, See how much good we did. And I'm really anxious to see how well they tear into that those shredded beets and molasses with the corn mixed in too. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of kind of anxious to see that too. But we did pretty good on these. Of course, that goes pretty. Let's see if I can get a close up. There she is, Chris. She's deaf as a doornail. She's probably, gosh, Prissy's probably nine years old, maybe. Let's see. No, she's older than that. Weezy's nine, so that put Prissy about 11. She can't hear, but she's still in good shape. All she gets to go down to the creek and drink some of that creek water every time we come over here. She's all right. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of anxious to see how that's going to turn out with the... Uh shredded beets and molasses with that corn mixed in and stuff every other place i mean the places that i picked they're having just a tremendous amount of activity right there i don't think any of them had less than 200 videos uh, in a single week now like i said i've got the space between the videos turned down a good little bit I think one of them's at 30 seconds. They're anywhere between 15 seconds and 30 seconds in between videos. Uh, most of them are at 15 seconds, I'll be honest with you. So if they're still there after 15 seconds and they move, it'll pick them right back up again. And I kind of like that. As long as I'm being able to check them every week, uh, I think that'll be fine. I mean, it runs a battery down in a week. I mean, you got to change the batteries out every week. That's why I've got you know those super El Cheapo batteries because I know they're not going to last no matter what battery I put in there. They're not going to last much longer than a week. And uh, So I, I go ahead and change all the batteries every week and, and the card every week. So thinking about investing in some rechargeable batteries but I don't know I've, I've never heard anything good about those rechargeable like double-a AA or triple-a batteries or something uh, some of them that are out there that are well, none of them are really in in the in a field or out and about and you got one or two that may be, I could hook up a darn uh, solar panel to it, you know, but I, I want to be able to move them around wherever I want to put them. And I don't want something like a solar panel restricting me in, the, in where I put them, so no like matter trail cameras. I, I don't want, I, I, I want to be able to put them exactly where I want to put them and not have to worry about a solar panel being out in the sun. 
so you know that's why I really hadn't gone with solar panels and rechargeable batteries. I just I don't I don't know. I just don't know very much about them to be honest with you. Um, but regardless, as long as those batteries you know stay cheaper, they're like three dollars for twenty five of them. I mean it's kind of hard to beat that. That's three. That's three cameras right there. So, you know, if it costs me like six bucks a week for batteries, you know, what, what, ah, what else can you do? Well, we're on the way back to Georgia. In fact, I'm in Georgia now. Uh, and back over to Augusta, Georgia, or the little, the little, there's a little town just south of Augusta called Waynesboro. That's where we're going. We got a, we got a gin out there. We got to do a electrical upgrade on. That's where we're heading out there now. Be out there two or three days. Actually, three days. And again, there's no good way to get across Georgia. I tell you, on the way up here this morning, I was driving on a little road that parallels the Chattahoochee River on the Alabama side. And then once I get up to a little place called Fort Gaines, that's where I cross over into, into Georgia. There were the most deer this morning on the side of the road, out in the field, right there behind. I bet I seen, gosh, I bet there was anywhere between 12 and 15 deer two, in two separate herds. Uh, they're, they're herding up this time of year. And uh, I seen three turkeys. And like I said, in between 12 and 15 deer. Of course, you know, you're right there next to the river. That you're gonna see a lot of deer and stuff right here next to the river. Uh, they're gonna they're gonna hang around whenever they can. They're gonna hang hang around the water source. So that's usually what it is. But anyway, ooh, that's a big old hog there, boy. That might have been an eagle. Anyway. We're heading over to Georgia. We're heading, like I said, we're in Georgia. We're heading over there to the other side of Georgia and uh, see what kind of trouble we can get into over there. Well, I got it figured out. I know where all the gas went a couple of weeks ago when we had the big gas shortage. Everybody's making them run on the gas pumps. You had to hunt around to see if anybody had any gas. But I know where it was at. I was traveling up I-75 up around uh, Warner Robins, Georgia, and Macon, Georgia. All the gas was at that Bucky's right there on the interstate. I ain't never seen so many gas pumps in all my life. I bet there was 75 to 100 gas pumps. Any kind of rating, fuel rating that you wanted, uh, ethanol free with 10, 15% ethanol, all grades, diesel, uh, Excuse me, Blue Def. They had that diesel exhaust fluid. I don't know if it was Blue Def, but it was diesel exhaust fluid. That tanks it out there. I mean, it just had a ton of stuff. Man. They didn't tell me how many gallons of gas they had stored up there. Man. It's nice inside, though. If you ain't never been to a Bucky's, you ought to go to a Bucky's. They're pretty cool. 